first, let's take a look at an example of a production bill of material. The bill of material is the framework for our finished good and production process. Here, we can define a hierarchical arrangement of stages, raw materials, and labor required to produce the finished good. At the header, you can see the parent item. You can also see the plan average production size. So in other words, we are required to produce one finished good. The rows tell us what items and resources are required to build our finished good. We can also define what stages are required throughout the production order process. For example, stage one requires welding, and stage two, fabrication, and finally stage three, final assembly. Within each stage, you can tell the system what raw materials and labor are required. So for example, during welding, we require 100 of raw material one, 100 units of raw material two, and four hours of labor. You can also tell the system what warehouse these items should come from. You can also define the issue method, for example, manual versus backflush, and where there is a production standard cost defined for an item or a resource, you can view that here. You can also select the respective price list that you want to use when viewing the individual unit prices for your raw materials. Those prices can then get rolled up into the parent product price. The resource module serves as an extension to the production module. Together, they provide a base platform for managing resource capacity, effort, and resource costs during the production process. Let's go back into our original bill of material and drill into one of our resources. For example, we'll drill into the production labor staff. Here, you can define the types of labor as well as their costs and their capacities. For example, this production staff costs $20 per hour can also define their daily capacities. As you can see here, this production staff is available from Monday to Friday, eight hours a day. We're actually multiplying that by a factor of two because we actually have two production staff on board. And therefore, that gives us a daily capacity of 16 hours per day. You can also define machinery as a type of labor or a resource. For example, this steel cutting machine cost $22 per hour to operate. However, this is comprised of multiple cost layers. For example, there is an amortization cost of $10 per hour, plus a maintenance cost of $7 per hour, plus an overhead cost of $5 per hour, giving us a total of $22 per hour to operate this steel cutting machine. Let's look at the production order process in action. As you can see, this production order status is set to released. This means the production staff can now begin producing our finished good. On the rows, you can see the production order is populated with our bill of material, reflecting the required stages, items, and resources to produce our finished good. The real benefit of the production order is that we can manage the entire production process and track the actual run times of our resources as well as the actual consumption of our raw materials. In addition, we can record any variances that will impact our total production costs, such as overtime or additional raw materials. For example, during the final assembly stage, we plan to consume one hour of effort. However, you can see we actually had to record two hours due to one hour of overtime. Moreover, once the entire production process is completed, we can report the completion and receive our finished good into inventory. The system will automatically reconcile our inventory by creating the respective journal entries. The benefit of this is that it eliminates any human error and increases our accuracy and efficiency from an accounting perspective. Lastly, we can easily view a summary of the plan cost versus actual cost along with any variances. For example, we can see that there is a variance of $15 to reflect the one hour of overtime. Also, you can view the actual item component costs, the actual resource component costs for the total actual costs of our finished good. 
and to the right, we can see the actual total production times. In summary, the bill of material, resources, and production order all together help to streamline the entire production process, providing you with complete real-time visibility into your overall production costs.